Steam.
welcome 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 everyone it's good to be back good 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 to be back on microsoft flight simulator i hope everybody is doing awesome and well uh it's good to be back in a flight sim all oh, skyrim gaming zeke welcome to a bronze membership thank you so much and that didn't work again i had it all set up and it was working uh it don't know if that came up on your screen, but it should have. But thank you, thank you for jumping on board a bronze uh, wombat membership, and I appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for all the support, guys. We are in Scotland, uh, and uh, Stu doesn't know where we are. He uh, mentioned that earlier on in the stream. You got no idea where we are. Um, and uh, thanks, Stu, for jumping on. Uh, Xavier, hello. How are you? And uh, Garwin, good day, mate. What's happening? How you doing? And uh, Skyrim, good day, and thank you and welcome as well. Uh, so today's flight, we're uh, northern. We're on the islands, uh, Shetland. So we are going to. Uh, obviously, the flight plan has a lot of uh, airfields on it, but that's just because I'm using them more as waypoints, and we're going to be landing at all of them. But uh, there will be a couple I do want a challenge to land at. Now, it does mean that potentially I could have a few crashes. Not crash to desktops. Well, we know that that can happen. It's Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> I do, Xavier. I remember you in the last one. Well, I haven't flown Sky Gaming, Zeke. I haven't flown in, uh, in the sim. I might have been on some other people's streams, but personally, or in one of my streams, or personally, I haven't flown out this way. So I'm going to enjoy it. There's going to be things for me to see that I haven't seen before. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of airfields I do want to land at. Uh, but it's sort of going to be, you know, does it look nice? Is it going to be fun? Is it going to be a challenge? Let's, let's land at it. I think that's what we're going to do. Can you let me know if uh, my voice is loud enough uh, or is the music too loud? And also, because I had to change around all my sound settings because of farming sim, the, the disaster farming sim was with my uh, sound. Oh, Stu just disappeared. <laughs> um, yeah, the farming sim, I had to reset all my sound settings. So hopefully everything's not too loud. Oh, flight plan on Discord is India. That was the one we did the other day. Okay. All right, Garwin, I will fix that right this second. Sorry about that. Uh, I can do that right now. Here we go. Let's go get the flight plan on Discord fixed up. I'll post that on there now. Uh, sorry, my apologies. Multiplayer streams. Voice is a little loud over the music. All right, I'll tap it down a bit, uh, or I can turn the music up. We haven't got our engine started yet. Stu's showed up again, which is great. Uh, flight plan is now uh, Scotland number one. And there you go. Flight plan is now up on Discord. So you can go grab it. Totally. <laughs> All right, let me know if that's a bit better. Sky Gaming uh, Zeke. Uh, Garwin, that is up. I want to fly, but too busy to totally handle. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. The flight plan's up there, and you can uh, put on autopilot and do your thing. We'll be autopiloted a bit anyway. Uh, let's get uh, in the cockpit. I have not flown the 414 Cessna for a while. Uh, but we better, first thing we're going to have to do, unchock and covers, engine covers and all that sort of stuff. We'll have to get all that off. So let's get the iPad out. And let's turn her on. Let's turn all those off. We'll get all the luggage loaded. Let's, let's get all the luggage loaded. Hey, yeah, everyone, put in their luggage. It's only me. We're going on a big trip. We'll go open up all the uh, doors and, and get uh, all the, the luggage in there or cargo run, whatever we're doing. Today, here, much better here, the voice music. Okay, cool, thank you very much. Uh, and then we're just gonna get started, aren't we? We're just gonna get the engine started. Uh, oh, I've already put the fuel across. Pretty sure we've got enough fuel for the flight, but we've got plenty of places to land on the way. Uh, so we're all good, yeah, we'll keep it at 
83, that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, beacons. Oh, we're going for battery. Where are those strobes on? Whoa, what was that? Uh, something just went through my plane. Another aircraft. Uh, okay, I'm going to check out that. Which is all on now. So I use the Bravo setup, so I'm using a combination of a mouse and all the switches and so forth on that. That is good, brakes are on, all good. Start with prime that, oh, wrong way, let's prime this way. I might have to turn the sim sounds up, so bear with me guys as I start the engines up. Oh, I didn't even prime this one. What do you mean? Cool. And so they should have all gone on. We don't need taxi light at the moment. Pedo is already on, is it? Oh, that's an already me. Alright, we should be already pretty much ready to go. That's a bit of an accident over there, isn't it? He's still already taken off. Oh, look at that. Stu's at the end of the runway. He wants to go. He wants to get out of here. Your Kodiak's not working. What are you in now, Stu? Four, I'm hoping someone does the 441. I had a lot of uh, real hours in that one. Oh, the 441. I'll have to check that out. Um, but it'll be good. Yeah. If you've flown it, then you definitely want it in the sim, don't you? Uh, we might have to uh, push back a little bit because we might hit uh, this aircraft, hey? So the Kodiak wasn't working. Oh, oh, oh the XL. <laughs> That's what was inside. When I was in the cockpit, I saw a streak of red. Uh, and uh, it was the XL. So is that you, Garwin? In the XL. I love the XL. i got to actually fly that. I will fly that on one of the legs. The next leg of Scotland, we're going to be doing the Hellcat. I don't know. It's, I know it's a Pacific aircraft, but because it's new, I wanted to fly it. And uh, I might do after that. I might do the XL. Uh, let's put the steering wheel back on. We are ready. Yep, GPS is all ready to go. Uh, it does sound a bit quiet on my end. Let me know. I can turn it up a bit. The engine sounds should be a bit higher now. But we've got an accident with the aircraft in front of us. Hey, Gaby Dad, how you doing? Look where we are, G Dad. Look where we are today. Why aren't we moving? Oh, I've got to turn off. Push back. Stop. Push back. I'm going to get around this uh, wing that's stuck in the ground. Which way is the wing going? I'm real. There we go. You guys are going in the wrong side of the runway, guys. Wrong way, if you're running live weather, that is. Oh. Being a border Englishman, you have to stop by. You guys just taking off in the wrong way, or you're not running live weather? 
Holy moly. I just see someone fly past the other side. Stu? What happened there, Stu? Oh, he's gone to the other side. <laughs> Oh, I've got no taxi lights on. I saw your slew across you, I saw it. Off you go, Stu. How you doing, gaming dad, anyway? You doing alright? Gonna head on with Garwin. Drop a bit of flaps. Alright. A short airfield though, isn't it? I think Garwin's going the right way though with those trees in the way at the end. <laughs> Alright, controls are all working. Make sure. Right, yep. Now Stu's gone the other side. Oh no, he's taken off. Well, if we hit the trees, guys, and we're too short, you have a crosswind as well. Yeah, I do have a crosswind. Slightly, slightly pushed towards me, but yeah. You're right, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Alright, let's go. Let's hopefully we can get off the ground before the end there, guys, because uh, it's a short runway. Otherwise, we're going to have to restart. And it's... We could be in a bit of trouble. I'll zoom in the cockpit in a minute. Whoa, why is it? We have got these crosswinds really killed me this time. Whoa, Whoa we're not going to make it. Whoa, whoa, that was close. That crosswind killed me though. What was it? 30, only 13 knots. We just made it though. Very, very lucky. I'll pop us up a little bit there guys so we can see a little bit better. All right. Woof. All good. Having a night off, wine, watching my famous Oz bro tonight. Uh, well, you've been streaming a bit as well, uh, Gaming Dad. Been streaming a lot, actually. Alright. We should be all good here. Having a look at the sights. probably stay pretty low between five and ten thousand we'll sort of jump around there the engine sounds are probably too loud correct everybody because I seem to be screaming over you guys once I get autopilot I'll try to correct it a bit Do it now. oh yeah I 100% agree see how the weather holds up but so far so good now I'm gonna probably pronounce some of these names wrong guys so correct me when I'm wrong that's all I'll say 
but I should be pretty okay with most of them. We're in the, uh, again, probably not pronouncing it right, but we're, we're, nor we're northern, we're in the islands, we're in the Shetlands, aren't we? I think we are. Yep. We've just taken off from uh, Unst, U-N-S-T, Unst, Unst, Unst. ourselves up. Yes it will. Beautiful. We can have a look at the site. So we're sitting at about 5,000 at the moment. We'll see how this cloud cover goes. And now we're heading towards Fetla, way over the, that island there. Uh, there obviously we're not landing there because that's super close. That's just in front of us actually. But it, And then over to Out Scaries, is it? Oh, well, that's what that's why I wanted to fly here, Gaming Dad, because I haven't really flown uh, in here in the sim. So I wanted to really check it out. Um, and I know there's been c certain landmarks put in and so forth, so there might be a few things to see as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, it's only going to be a few streams to get around Scotland. Uh, so we'll end up where our destination today is. Is, uh, is it Glen Zander or Glen Sander? Glen Sander or Glen Ander? So that's... Uh, that's uh, the location that we'll be heading to. You can already see we're over now, uh, Fetler. How very odd, I will re reload and catch up. My prop keeps going to full pitch no matter where I set the lever. Ah, it's no good. And, oh, you're flying the XL. Hmm, wonder if they need an update. I don't think there's been an update, because I've got it as well. I don't think there's been an update since it was released. Alright, we will now just... Uh, though we don't overheat. Probably not even have these out. was out. You reloaded, it's working fine now. Awesome. Alright, there we go. Uh, fuel. Alright, we should be alright for a while. We got Stu, we got Garwin flying with us today. As we fly. Now, this is the airfield I wanted to fly. I don't know if we'll land at it, but. I wanted to go down low and check it out because it's a really nice area. So let's uh, slow down a bit. Sorry, guys, just going to slow down and we're going to do a low run over of Out Scaries. Uh, so we'll turn off autopilot. I fly around the island a little.
We'll do a lap. They've done up this island a little, so it looks pretty good. You can already see that just approaching it looks good. Yeah, yeah, not too under speed, come on. Props back a bit. We'll do a fly over the airport just to show you how small it is. So we, I, uh, I took off from here when I was doing some screenshots. Actually, this, the thumbnail was from this island. Yeah, I am. It's the Loch Ness will be on the next stream in Scotland. I'm flying that way. That'll be in the Hellcat. So let me just. We're just going to fly back over the uh, the town here on the island and the airport. Just show you how small it is. And uh, it would be a real fun one. I just, actually, similar to what we just took off from, we just made it before we hit those trees. All sheep. <laughs> So yeah, we've got a bit of scenery on this island, so you'll see as we go over. We'll see if there's any sheep on there. Hey, Stu. <laughs> oh, I'm the same, Garwin. I was, uh, when was I flying with Brett the other day, and, and I had it on, I think most of the realism was on, and it was, <laughs> especially when you put that engine wear on, switch that on, oh my god. Uh, so... Have a look as we fly over. But how how beautiful does it look on the sim? But look at the airfield, how small it is. And if you go to this other end, this over this high area off the wing here, it's a tough one, very tough one. So it looks really stunning. Look at that. Even the tennis courts rendered in beautifully over there. The boats in the bay looks really good. No sheep though, Shu. I can't see any sheep. <laughs> All right, off we go. Back to flight plan. you. Nice one. I do love the 414. It's beautiful to fly. Off on Monday and Tuesday if you fancy coming into a battle. Hey, I'll be... Actually, you know what? I'm off as well. Um, I'm off for a week as well. So, I'll be doing a couple of different things this week. So, first of all, I will be... Oh, how good does that look with the sun rising? So we're on morning at the moment. Uh, I will be pro most likely streaming uh, Construction Simulator. 
which is really cool. That comes out this week, so I wanted to stream that. No idea. I've never played the previous uh, uh, construction simulator series, so it's going to be interesting. And I'm home, so I am going away for a few days. Uh, but uh, I'll be home for the initial week, and I'll be home for those Monday, Tuesday. So, your Monday, Tuesday. So, yeah. Yeah, this, no, this looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. So now we're um, over, is it Walsay? Walse? Uh, let's have a look. There we go. And now we're heading over to Papa Stour Stores, Papa Stour, the island over there. So we're doing a crisscrossing up here at the moment. And we're heading back to 5,500 after that flyover uh, of that beautiful island uh, of uh, out scaries. Well, it looked beautiful on the sim anyway. Stunning. turbines down there. Is that what they are? They are too. The problem is <laughs> I'm terrible. Absolutely terrible. I know everybody gets shot up like in that, I, I do watch it, we watch you do it, and I do notice that everyone gets shot up a hell of a lot, and, uh, but, yeah, I've got to get a little better, I've got to play it a bit more frequently, that's probably what I've got to do, maybe after the next few days I'll, I'll have a bit more skill, and it's the lingo that you guys use that I still aren't 100% sure with. Probably struggling to catch up with the. Are you still in the XL? You're not in the Kodiak anymore, Stu. Didn't think so. I haven't seen the name tag pop up. It'll pop up in a minute. I mean, in terms of the, the aircraft that you're flying. Oh, there it is. B350. I think that's what it was. King, yep. let me know if sounds are a bit out guys just let me know because I've got my music off so I can't hear it I know you guys can but I can only hear the sim sounds Thanks, Gaming Dad. Appreciate it. 
Actually, you've been getting some pretty good views on that. Now that you've become a frequent uh, player on Hell Let Loose, or Let Hell Let, let Hell Let Loose, <laughs> uh, and you've become really good at it, I think you're getting a bit of a following on that, which is really cool. I think people like watching you because you're you're a great squad leader on it. Because obviously it's hard to come by good squad leaders on that. On any sort of shooter. Alright, we're about to... Get to, in the not too distant there, you can see that's a Papa, Papa Stow Airport. Yeah. It is, it is a niche. You're 100% sure, 100% right. Um, but it's good that uh, people are now coming back to you all the time and want to watch it and actually want to want to play with you as well, want to get in there with you, which is really good. And it's what you're focusing on. you even got your, when you stream, you've got your uh, overlays and that all to do with World War, which is really cool. Yeah, you're starting soon screen and all that. Which is really cool. We can go, what do we got? Uh, fuel wise, we're okay. One thing I won't be too used to flying up here is, I know at the moment it wouldn't be that cold, but it would be getting, uh, it's shoot, it would be getting a lot cooler. I'm not used to obviously icing and that, but obviously it's a nice day, so it will be fine. Because I'm always flying in like Aussie or other day India, and, but we don't really have too much issues with icing other than in winter, super winter, nice and hot. We're only flying low anyway. All right, so here we go. So Papa Stower, right, here we go. Ah, Stew with the flyby. That was changing livery. The livery was changing as you flew by. <laughs> uh, Stew's free to do what he wants. Uh, Stu's been great. What Stu did for me last, uh, I started, because my membership started Gaming Dad, and Stu was absolutely legendary, and I started memberships on f my Friday, which would have been your Thursday, it was Friday night, would have been your Thursday morning or something like that. Um, sorry, Friday morning. He bought the first five memberships. He, he he gave them away to uh, six memberships actually, I think it was five or six memberships, he gave them away uh, to uh, some viewers, so um, he was very, very generous, great heart, Stu. But going back to that uh, let hell let hell let loose <laughs> um, it is it is a very cool game Stu you're right actually it's actually really good I think people love it because and and the good thing about it it gets rid of a lot of the young people that your battlefield and your call of duty people because it's so realistic um, and you get you die you get shot you get pinged you're dead you pinged you're dead ping you're dead and the young people don't like that. So you get rid of a lot of them. Stu is a legend. It was six. There you go. The reason I said it was five or six because uh, Stu, one of, uh, on the on the YouTube page, it only says five. Uh, not that you'd, I don't know if one wasn't taken up 
or one hasn't shown yet. It might take a couple of days to show up on the page. So, because you, you remember you bought that last one separately, so maybe that'll take uh, a while to show up. You better get one or you'll look cheap. <laughs> well, to be honest, I, for you guys, it's, it, it actually isn't very expensive at all. I, st I put them quite low. When you convert it from Aussie over to you guys, you uh, I think it doesn't look too much. But but anyway, so the whole goal of it is, uh, especially when you get to gold level, is that I want to start a few servers up. Like We already got farming server, which anyone freely can join once you join gold level. Uh, but uh, I want to get other servers up. So any suggestions, uh, I will be more than happy. And it doesn't mean I'll be streaming on them. It's just for the, the community and the membership. They get to go on uh, and, you know, it could be anything. It could be Ark, for example. Um, it could be other builders. It could be other survival games. It could be uh, other simulator games. Whatever's got servers um, and I can get up. Unfortunately, construction simulator hasn't got, you won't be able to get an independent server up or running. That can only be hosted locally. And it can, it's only up to four people. But if I am streaming Construction Simulator and you do have it, you will have to have it on PC though. It's not cross-play. Um, Stu maybe told me the other day, which I just confirmed the other day as well, Stu. You might have to lower that. We will, uh, you can join it, but I will be streaming that, so starting this week. Yeah, Brett Play was the last one, you're right. So now we're uh, fuller, fuller. We're approaching fuller. Well, there wouldn't be many people on here, would there, guys? Folks, look at that. I'm guessing in the... This would be a very cold place. Yeah, well look, as I said, if I can get myself, I, I don't mind, I, I'm open to playing, playing or simming in anything, so it's not just focused on flight sim, it's not just focused on all the other things that I play, as you can see, so, or farm sim, I would love to get other things happening, other genres as well, so how let loose, even for myself, if I get good at it, <laughs> or reasonable at it. Um, you could start a servers up, but you could do the same, 100%. Alright, so that's uh, Fula. And we're crossing now to the end of the islands, mainland island, and then back onto mainland. Oh, no one lives there. No one lives there. Stu, you sure? There's, you can definitely see buildings. And there's an, air, there's an airport there. But no one's on that island as far as you know. Full uh, islands. Is it called? It's got full airfield. Which is... Uh, yeah, full, uh, yep. It's got a primary school on it. I'm looking at the Google Maps now. I have two servers sitting here. Wonder what is involved in hosting one. Hosting what? What would you host though, Garwin? You gotta take a shortcut there, Garwin. The catch up. You gotta like cross it along. Oh, but you probably got on autopilot. You said you're quite busy. Ooh, there's a bit of stutters going on at the moment. From my end. Don't know if you've seen it. 71% fuel. Yeah, maybe there isn't anyone living there. Maybe those that primary school that's popping up is something that was used. It does look tight, like... Primary school's probably got five students at it, if anything. Uh, there is a post office. 
And as you said, <laughs> there's a, f a fuller wool store. <laughs> so there'll be sheep on it. <laughs> oh, it's got a ferry. It's got the fuller, it's got a ferry terminal as well. Which goes to, obviously, the Shetland Islands. The mainland of Shetland. So, yeah. I'm just having a look at it now. Now, we're going to a landmark now, aren't we? We are. We're going to... I'm going to pronounce this wrong. The brush of Musa is preserved Iron Age brooch or brush uh, or round tower. So we're going to a bit of a fort or tower which will be rendered in the sim, which will be cool. And that's on Musa Island. Musa or Musa? A damn Aussie that can't pronounce anything. And then we're heading off to uh, a stop at Fair Isles, and then we're going across to the m getting closer to mainland Scotland. Ferry or plane on all of them. Yeah, well, there is quite a few airfields. We've flown over, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, including the island so far. Then there's the main one, which we're going to fly over at Sam Samburg. Samburg? We're going to fly over there, or Sunburg, I should say. Echo Golf Papa Bravo, which is obviously the main airport, uh, main regional airport. Don't know if it's an international. It would probably be international as well up here. But we're not landing there. We have got plenty of fuel. We won't have to probably land till we get to a main. Ooh, we might have to land a bit early. What are we at? 69% fuel. So we may have to land at somewhere like North Ronald, say, or Upper Westry. Westry and Ede, somewhere around there. If we're going to leave, look at this landmark, we better start heading down. Stunning with those cliffs. Aha, uh -huh, stew. Alright, let's see if this uh, round tower fort tower is still there. Or is there in a sim? I think it is. 
on the slide down. Do a round of the island while we descend and then we'll fly over it. Maybe it's not in the sim. It's... Yes, it is. It's just there. Okay, cool. So we'll go and descend a bit more and then we'll fly back over it. I don't know where all the shipping is. There's normally some boats and ships around. Where we took off from, I should have shown you. Um, there was a couple of boats in the uh, in the bay where we took off from, and one of the sailboats. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I've never. I don't know. Oz Flight Sim has never shown me it on. I've never seen it on one of his streams. But one of the boats sails. Obviously, uh, Seafront Simulations must be obviously helping him out or whatever, or because he's promoting the. Um, the seafront simulations, ships and boats and stuff. One of the yachts had his uh, logo on it, which was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen that, Stu or Garwin, or or flight or Oz Flight Simmer hasn't shown it off in one of his streams, but it was pretty cool. Super low enough. Yeah, it was super neat. I actually really, I thought it was a great idea. On his behalf, obviously, they would, he would know about it. There we go. Get nice and close. There it is. Oh, sorry guys. Bring it in nicely. There's the little round tower. Those cliffs look amazing, by the way. There it is again. Let's get back on the flight plan. Cruise speed, I was actually 160 at the moment, but obviously I'm climbing quite uh, quite fast. See, I might climb a bit lower. Cause I was going a bit slower, I didn't notice. I was uh, slowing down with prop pitch and... 
I had the throttles right down as we were doing those flyovers. It looks pretty stunning. Have a look. That's in a 414 flying. Now we're finished over the mainland, the Shetland Islands, and we're going over now to Stony Brack, Bear Isles. Is the next island hop as the birds go by? Sixty-seven percent fuel, so we're not using, not not chewing fruit at the moment. But I haven't been really pumping out in terms of speed. Lots of birds around at the moment. So let's get some altitude here as we go over this uh, ocean. Just in case we have an engine issue. Let's head a bit higher. Thirty-one thousand feet. Was it three? I'm sure it said thirty-one thousand. Weather doesn't look too promising up ahead, though. Darwin might have changed plane because he was a bit behind, I think. Yeah, once we hit cruising, we'll be able to speed up a little. We're a bit slower at the moment because we're climbing. I think we might get over all these islands before we've got to land, which is cool. Oh, you're right below me. Aha. Uh -huh. There he is. 3,000 feet, not 31,000. <laughs> I definitely read that wrong. I thought you might have changed plane because you're a bit behind, but I'm climbing now, so you'll be you'll be able to keep up fine. seem to be okay at the moment.
Oh, it can cruise at 200. That's actually not too bad, is it? It is. A, I forgot how. It's quite a quick little plane, isn't it? The good old pusher. Two two twenty. That's actually really good. I do enjoy flying the pushes or the push pull. Actually, this looks quite stunning. This island coming up. Don't know if they've done if the Microsoft's done anything to it, but we'll have a look. Twin turbo V eight. And two times 750 horsepower for Stu. Yeah, you got no no issue at all getting ahead of both of us, Stu. All right, about to hit 8,000. And then things should speed up quite a bit. Problem when you do flight plans, because I obviously do flight plans out of the sim in Little Nav Map, but then I use the sim to estimate the time of the trip, and the sim gets it wrong <laughs> a lot of the time. We'll see how we go. We always fly around two and a half, three hours, so. Oh, really? Those are. <laughs> Till I watch the race. I used to feel bad about how badly I landed the pits until I watched the racers trying to land them today at the Reno. <laughs> Another low populated island. Couple of lighthouses on each end. I don't know if they rendered that in. Off the nose there, it's not rendered in, but there's a lighthouse down there. Nice small strip over there. We do have something rendered in there. Let's say, oh, what's that? Is that a lighthouse as well? Or is that? That is, that's a lighthouse. Down here. So that's the Fair Isle South Lighthouse. got a runway that's it has right in the center too we're okay we've got fuel we've got 63 percent let's see what's the length there's a challenge we'll land at let's land at the small island of Papa Westray Westray and it's got a 1500 foot runway so we'll land there to refuel. Uh, well, we don't really need to refuel, but we'll land there anyway. To have it's a nice small strip. The smallest, I think, the smallest one was. We've already overflown it. There's another 1600 one on the way at uh, Coal. That would be the smallest one to go. So let's land at that one. North Ronald say he's also 1500, but we definitely won't need fuel. So let's wait until the West Tray is a challenge. The smallest one I think was the Scaries, out Scaries, which is 
1200 yeah that was the smallest one at 8,000 now or just below it You say 1500 feet, yeah, that's the um, airfield at Papa Westry, Westry, Echo Golf, Echo Papa. It has, looks like it has a couple of grass strips and a sealed strip, uh, and the sealed strip is the longer one, I think, 1500. Do we have to pull it off, Shu, with the King Air? So the grass strips are a thousand feet. Having a quick look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. Fifteen fifty seven feet for the uh, for foot. Runway two one or runway zero three depending on wind. Maybe a little bit too small for you, Stu. It's always a challenge. If I crash, I crash. It's a sim, that's what's beautiful about a sim. We'll see how we go. It's all flat, so it's not like uh, the outscaries that have a, a little hill or mountain on one side. A little hill gets in the way. It's all flat on both sides. Think. Yeah. You're too big. You can do it, Stu. <laughs> Actually, you know what, Stu? There is another. Oh, it's the same size. I was going to say there's another. There's two airports there. Or airfields there. There's the Papa Westry one, and then there's another one just the Westry, and that is the same length. They're, they're, well, it's a little bit longer. It's nearly 1600. <laughs> they're basically ones on an island of Papa Westry, and then they're ones on the other island on the other side of the little inlet. I can't see it yet. We're a bit far away to see it. North Ronald say that's where we're going over now. That see that's a small one as well. This one is only 1500, so 1522, so it's slightly smaller again. These islands have some small. That's why you need the Kodiak. Don't even know what the. Uh, I don't know if the old... iPad... Oh, I've got to actually change tanks. What's my tanks? Oh, whoa, 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 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is this? Oh no, we're using both. Uh, oh, we're approaching the small... So yeah, this one's a challenge as well. Stu. Where is it? It's just below that cloud, I think, where Garland is. Oh, there it is. But yeah, look, <laughs> that's how small it is. So that's how small it's going to be, Stu. At the other, <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be fun. I'm up for it. We'll see if there's trees. Wherever there's no trees on the other end, that's where we'll be, we'll be landing. And no, hopefully there's no fences. So if we overshoot, it's okay. We might have to... Uh... You're at 81% fuel. Yeah, I don't technically need fuel either. But I wanna, I wanna, I wanna land. <laughs> I wanna have a, maybe we do a touch and go. There we go. We'll do a touch and go. Let's do that. And then you'll be fine. You can do a touch and go. If you want. start descending here. We're going to slow down a little. About to hit 59. I got. I do have plenty of fuel as well, so we'll just touch and go. It. We've got a bit of a leg uh, with no airport once we hit Wick. So if. If we're going to refuel, it'll have to be at Wick. You might be okay, but I'll definitely have to refuel there, I think. Which is plenty long. You'll be fine at Wick. That's uh, nice and a big for me. I do love the sounds of the 414. Sending wind sounds are nice. Took a while for them to get it out officially, but uh, they've done a good job. I think it's well worth it. I know it's a bit pricey for a smaller aircraft, but it's, it's well worth it. Well, with the wind, we will be able to land on zero three. We'll touch and go it on zero three. We need to get down a bit lower. small <laughs> uh, it is small it's 
You can see the other air, airfield across. So this is Echo Golf, Echo Papa. But I'm going to go into the wind. So I'll fly over up first. off <laughs> Garwin's going in for it look at that <laughs> there's no trees so you could definitely overshoot this stew if you had to it's great love it I don't hit any birds coming through It's all right, we're okay. It's a little late, but anyway, a little early, I think, but anyway, see if we can get around in time. Coming in too fast anyway, so. Ah. Gravel runway. Oh, it's going to be a hard landing. Whoa, where you got those from? Whoa, 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 whoa. Up, 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 up. That was terrible. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's funny where you'll... I notice you're on someone's lawn. We just flew over you. <laughs> uh... That was a terrible, terrible, terrible landing though, or touch and go. <laughs> uh, that pedal work was uh, Look like a grass runway. <laughs> oh, I thought you were approaching, and then obviously I had the zoomed in view, and I just saw you fly out to me to go, oh, he landed there. Uh, that's funny. Uh, might be some sight, so we'll stick to. Uh, we're not going down, we're going to go up. We'll stick to 5,000 around here, and it's only a short hops now to Ireland, so we're not flying over any big ocean 
areas. Yeah, it was definitely a, a small strip, that's for sure. <laughs> well, Garwin, you had plenty of uh, runway there. You had all that grassy area. <laughs> Oh well, have to stop flying anyway. We'll keep the stream on. Bet need to get stuff done. Nah, all good, Garwin. That was good fun. Thanks for jumping on again. Appreciate it. <laughs> the lawn. Oh yeah, that's right. The lawn definitely was longer. Oh, a hell of a lot of birds. Get away from this uh, birds. All right, so we are flying now over something. Are we flying over a land? Oh, all right. Didn't even see. There we go. We've got a fort of some sort down there, or some. What's that? Oh, sorry, guys. What is that? Northland Castle. There you go. That's what it is. Beautiful, beautiful place though. Love it. So we've got some, uh, the next Aussie flight uh, we will be doing. There's not much to see because it's uh, a lot of desert area. We're going to fly out to some canyons and stuff. It's going to be, I think, the F-22 something like that be a nice fast jet flight so I'm looking forward to that one next week Yep, I got it. I haven't flown it yet. She's fast too, isn't she, Stu? The F-22. Ooh, formation flying. Stu coming up. Loving the flight so far, though. It's uh, a beautiful area to fly. I love it. And the weather's been kind to us. Live weather, uh, which is nice. So far. Let's see what's ahead of us, huh? Oh, Stu's back in formation. Mac 2. Nice. So that'll be a fun one. Uh, so we'll do that one low and fast, low and fast. So which will be good fun. Go into some canyons in Western Australia, which will be fun. Just because that part of the legs in Western Australia, there's not much to see. So you can't really do that 
in a slower aircraft, otherwise it'll be very, very boring. Nothing to see out the windows. Chapter say is next. Mill. But the weather is looking pretty good. And then we will head to Lamb Home. With an island just a flyover of Muckle Scary and then on to Wick. Where we may need to refuel because there's no airport then until Stonaway. We'll refuel them, which we could refuel there. But we should be, we're more direct now, we're not f flicking around airports and, sorry, airfields and crisscrossing islands, so we're pretty direct now. So it should be a little quicker. We got another castle coming up, we may have. Belfour Castle. Whereabouts is that? Don't know if it'll be rendered in. No. Oh yeah, it is actually, it's there. Have a look. It's going to be fast, but... Is it rendered in or not? It is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's just houses. Oh, no, it is. There it is. Flying over now, Kirkwall, Kirkgolf Papa Alpha. Oh, is Stu going to refuel, is he? Going to refuel Stu. No, nah, he's not. Checking out the area. We've got some ships in the... Bay there between islands. Beautiful. Oh, you are going to refuel.
Oh, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Muckle Scaries is where Scary we're going over now, and then we'll be at Wick. So we'll land at Wick, get some fuel. Here. Go check out what's on the island as we approach it at Muckle Scary. fences. High stone walls. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, reset here. So, Wick, Echo Golf, Papa, Charlie, we will land on runway 31 for a refuel. So, we need to start descending soon. Only at 5,000, though. Come on in a Cessna 152 ahead of us.
and we'll fly over Castle Sinclair. Don't think that's rendered in a sim though, so you probably won't see that. lost me well hopefully things will pop back up I can still see the the other guy in front of me so we've got a connection but we're not far from Wick we're not far at all we flying over that and then turning around and landing on uh, what did I say runway three one fix up my sensitivity on my pedals because they're over. I need to upgrade my pedals actually. I need something a bit better. A bit more precise. Okay, let's uh, autopilot off. Hopefully I'll pop back up soon, Stu. We'll check when we land anyway, make sure everything's functioning well. Dangerous place to have so many birds. Hey, there's a fighter jet down there. What's that? Looks like a MiG. Yeah, server's not show. Well, I'm at week anyway, about to land. Or well, you can watch it anyway where I'm at. And I'll just refuel. Hopefully it'll come all back on by then.
Beautiful. Crosses on all these uh, taxi. Oh, these are all runways. Okay. Well, we're going to taxi on up the top. All right, we're at week, and we're going to go refuel, and then we'll head off. And hopefully those servers will head back on, Stu. I do now what is going on is still not showing you. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, quick refuel. And what I might do, why I'll turn off... Oh. I'll turn off um, online and online, online offline, uh, in terms of the sim, and see if that will then fix you up, so you can sort of see me, Stu. But give me a sec, and I will uh, park her up. Gotta work out. Gotta go all the way over there. How do I get all the way over there? Okay, cool. Let me just find refueling and we will go and work out where that is. Like I can follow right around here. I lost that other guy too, so it might be the servers. Uh, that guy in the Cessna 152 that was flying around here somewhere. I don't think there's anyone else around. No. Building's a little close. Little close. Hello, Brett. How you doing? We're at uh, Wick at the moment, and uh, Echo Golf Papa Charlie. And I'm just fine trying to find some fuel. Even though I don't really need it, but we haven't got an airport after this for a while, so. But I don't know where the refueler is. Is that it there? No, that's a plane. That it there? That's it there, isn't it? No, that's a car. There's a truck. Tanker. Just might have to park over where the truck is and all the trucks in the way. Yep, it's wick all right. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Is that, is that the MiG <laughs> we saw when we overflew? 
The MiG sitting there at week. <laughs> they might not be happy to have a Russian MiG sitting there. I think it's a MiG. You guys will be able to tell me. I'm not the best with that. Uh... There's the fuel. First. I'm not going to shut down, guys. I'm just going to refuel. So close your eyes. And I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to go. It is a MiG, isn't it? Put 80 back. All right. Let's go. Oh, I'm just going to park. I'm gonna, I am going to park for a second. Actually, I'll just stay here. And we're going to try to work out why Stu disappeared. Alright, I'm, so I'm not, you're not seeing me as well, Stu, are you? Alright, give me a sec. I'm going to go switch off the data uh, online and then offline on the sim and see if you pop back up. So give me a sec, guys. Be right back. Oh, it's a Tomcat. I don't think that's a Tomcat, right? Or is it's a MiG? Sure it is. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec. We look like we're back. All right, let's go taxi away. There he is. Good. How you doing, Brett, anyway? We'll fly past the MiG. We'll fly, we'll taxi past the MiG. Thank you. We are back. We are back. Not that one. Oh my gosh. Ah, here we go. We're back. Uh, 
And there's Stu. We found Stu. It's when you sort of just look to the left. Your stream deck's over there and you just press a random button. Thinking it's the right one. Hopefully the sound, I haven't switched the sound off or anything. No, I can see that all coming through, so that's good. Been a bit, uh, the landing was pretty good, but uh, that touch and go earlier was terrible. I've been a bit off with my rudder control today. We're just going to go straight on for plenty of time on this runway. Plenty of length. I don't know why my rudder controls all over the place. Sensitivity, maybe. Let's get on with the flight, huh? to 5,000. Beautiful Scotland, Brett Pound. Uh, mon manifold pressure, I oh, will keep an eye on it. So far, so good. We've been all right, we've been good. And good day, Brett. How are you, mate? The two Brett Spread plays and Brett Pound and birds all over the place. Bird strike, bird strike, bird strike. Plenty of safe areas to land around here. If we got a bird strike. Drinking first coffee. And where are we flying today, Brett? Still south, or it's still in Africa somewhere, is it? Pretty much heading off from Wick. We're going to go pretty much west. Libya from Sudan. Good. Awesome. And what are you flying, Brett? So we're going over to... I don't know if it's rendered in the... the oh, the MiG-29. <laughs> well, is it the MiG-29 we just saw there at Wick? It's just sitting there at Wick. Wick. <laughs> the Russians were at Wick. Stu's not going to be too happy. 
they got Scotland. Uh, we're heading, yeah, so we're heading uh, west uh, now towards Stornway, and then we're going, we'll fly over Castle Van, I think it is. I don't know if that's rendered in the sim, we'll find out. And then over a nice, beautiful bay area called Sandwood Bay, which is right near Sandwood Lock. Yep, comrade. Well, I'm stew. So we had some really nice flight, actually. We've been uh, started out at uh, Shetlands and all the way down to pretty much to where we are, down to Wick, flying over all the islands, which have been some beautiful sights. Went to a short challenge, and we were going to land there, but we convinced ourselves that it was too short at Papa Westry Airfield, which was only a 1500 foot runway, where Garwin <laughs> finished the flight with us, and Garwin landed on the grass because he thought the a grass road because he thought the grass road was the runway, uh, which was quite funny. And has the Sudan a livery? Nice! Ah, what else comes in that pack? It all, what countries, gets pretty much all the countries that fly it, I'm guessing. Uh, oil temp, all good, all good. Yeah, well, it was um, where I got the thumbnail from. Brett was from the scary, yeah, from Out Scaries, and that runway is fourteen hundred, no, twelve hundred foot. And I actually took off from it, but at the end of the runway, there's a little bit of a mound, rock, rock mound, rock mountain, not mountain, it's, but it goes up. So basically you have to fly over it and I just skimmed the top of it. But even where we took off today, we took off today at, uh, where did we take off from today? We took off Unz, um, and that's a 2000 foot runway. And I just got over with a little bit of a hill in front of it, and it has trees on that hill. Not, not much of a hill, just a mound. And I just got over the trees. I, re I reckon I potentially would have hit them if I didn't put my landing gear up so early. In the Malaysian one last night, awesome. Yeah. It was nearly my downfall too. <laughs> I reckon the landing gear would have just come up just at the right time on that one. But definitely, that's a, that's a beautiful uh, little place though. If you want to muck around flying, if you haven't already, the out scary uh, airfield there is awesome. Little air, little gravel airfield has a fence around it, and so you're sort of boxed in. So 
You don't have any margin for error. It would have been interesting to land there. We wouldn't have done it. We wouldn't have been able to land there. It would have been too short. see if this castle is in. Still a bit. I think it's just past these wind farm, windmill farms. Power farms. shooting across now so we probably don't need to I'd say we don't need to refuel any more shoe maybe right at the end but for me you won't but I will maybe maybe been in the back. Have they updated anything in the back? Doesn't look like it. Very similar to what it has in the past. Yeah, sure is. Wind farm just over. Imagine having to grow little turbines from samples. <laughs> It'll be a lot cheaper. <laughs> Just got to add water. <laughs> Approaching uh, the castle Varich, Varich. Let's see if it's there. <laughs> Mad. Well, we do play farming sim. <laughs> uh, can always throw a couple on the farm. See what happens. Add some fertilizer and water. Alright, so we'll see if this castle. It's just uh, on this inlet water inlet here. The Kyle of Tongue. I 
don't think it's in. Could be wrong. if the castle's here you get free power <laughs> nah doesn't look like there's a castle here oh what's this is that it nah might be don't think so you know what it looks like tell me if that was it Much up here. Hero Bowl. That's Lock Hope. Lock Hope is here, uh, and Lock Hero Bowl is there. On our next stream in Scotland, we will be flying to Loch Ness, uh, which would be pretty cool. Flying in the Hellcat. I know, Hellcat's a Pacific uh, aircraft, but. Historical wise, but I just want to take it for a spin. A bit more speed happening. I know they should, uh, someone should make a model for it, the Loch Ness Monster, and, and throw it in the lock for us to fly over. <laughs> Hills and grass, that's pretty much what we're seeing now, isn't it? Hills and grass and lots of water. Lots of locks and lots of rivers and lots of lakes, as you can see. Google Maps, this area here, where this water is, is all like it's dry, it's sand, where that water is there.
up until about where the wing is. Yeah, why not? Why not throw the Loch Ness in there? Someone will do it. I reckon if you put a request out there, it'll be a pretty quick, pretty easy add-on, isn't it? Just one, basically, an animal. Just throw it in the lock. <laughs> it'll be cool. Pretty much could just. Uh, Probably get some sort of dragon, modify it slowly, a little bit slowly, modify it slightly, uh, and then pop it in. Sandwood Beach, you can see ahead of us, and Sandwood Lock. We're getting close to the runway in the uh, on the sand, Stu. It's called a Baron Barra Barra Airport, Echo Golf Papa Romeo. So basically, that's an uh, at low tide. That's a at low tide, the sand becomes an airport, something like that, or an airfield. Old <laughs> an old World War Two stuff. <laughs> So that barrel will be a fun one. Maybe we just land there for the hell of it. Because it's an interesting uh, place to put an airfield. So this uh, is called the C. Let's check it now. I thought I heard engine issues. We're all good on my tablet. It says everything's good. Temp's good. Pressure's good. Just thought I heard a bit of a rumbling on and off of the engine. Oh. There's already two Loch Nesses. There you go. Done. So I'll get them for the next uh, stream that I do in Scotland. The next part, part two. We'll get the Loch Ness. That's awesome. Thanks for checking that, Brett. Probably end up crashing the desktop <laughs> when you get a mod, but all good. Italy seems to be the uh, devil of a place to fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator, that's for sure. Uh, I did not enjoy that whole navigation of Italy. That, to be honest, was, uh, yeah, basically nerve-wracking because every time I streamed, I just didn't know when it was going to, when it was going to crash. But I think I found that stock aircraft, so as long as they were originally stock Microsoft aircraft, it seemed to not crash. But every time, um, there was one aircraft I did fly. Can't remember, it was the Italian, it was just the, the prop similar to a, a Piper Arrow. It's an Italian air equivalent. That was okay. When I flew that, that was okay, but every other modded aircraft or payware aircraft I got, which was not Microsoft uh, stock, crashed somewhere. Ooh, we got a bit of weather it's moving in here.
Might have to go below. Don't really want to go below, we might have to go above. Because we're over the water. We can get through these clouds quickly. Be back in a sec, guys. Alrighty, where are we? Where are we? We're still over the sea of Hebrides. 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 And we're heading towards Stornaway. Echo Golf Papa Oscar. We won't need to land. Plenty of fuel. Uh, but if this cloud keeps up, we might go over to Scattered Cloud. See, otherwise we're not going to see very much. There's Stu.
We've been streaming for about two and a half. Normally two and a half, three hours is what I like to stream. So we probably end up finishing where, exactly where I thought, which is going to be at the Sand Airfield. The Tidal Airfield at Barra. So yeah, Barra Airport might be the way to go. Well, it's not really an airport, is it? It's a tidal airfield, I think it's called. Basically, it's only operational when the tide's out. So we'll have to uh, <laughs> we'll have to waterproof our aircraft while we leave it there for until our next stream. Maybe we can tow it to the beach. Oh, good, Brett. Not a problem, mate. I know that you do your stream about now, so all good. A few ships around as well, but thank you for dropping in. Thank you for letting me know that uh, wind turbines can grow from saplings on uh, the wind farms that I was talking about. So I'll make sure I go to Bunnings and grab some wind turbines to plant over the weekend. Bunnings is our hardware and they sell plants and things for your garden as well, down in Oz, if you don't know about Bunnings. <laughs> Alright, we're going to remove some of this weather guys, otherwise we're not going to see very much. fuel. I think that's probably our longest leg for the day. But we're going to head pretty much south now to Barra very shortly. Kalanish. It looks like there is a one landmark that we can potentially see before we head south. Golf Papa Oscar. A little bit more hilly and mountainous where we are at the moment. Big shout out to Skyrim Gamer Zeke, which at the start of the stream 
he uh, grabbed a membership. So thank you, Skyrim Gamer Zeke. Starting to get a bit hot in my uh, pod here. Gaming, streaming pod, simming pod. Oh, we've got some lifts here. Let's see some ski fields. Yep. There's some ski lifts. So in the winter, there must be some ski fields around here. I guess it'll be ski field stew for a, quite a bit of the year, yeah? It would get pretty cold up here. <laughs> I think I, is that, I think I saw it. Lifts? Oh no, they're more windmills. Okay, they're more wind turbines. But they're not. They're ski lifts. They're wind turbines. Those? No, they're wind turbines too. Alright. They're all wind turbines. Get very cold. Oh yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> Been this far north. Descend a little. got this landmark here. Band in stones placed in a cruciform pattern with a central a colonish colonish a little bit away though. Underneath us now. Can't see it. Ah, oh, yes, there it is. There it is. Found it. There it is. Right here. In front of the engine.
doggo into flights. Well, check out flightsim.to and see if you can find a passenger instead of a human, a dog. As your uh, co-pilot. <laughs> we'll get someone to whip up a co-pilot that's a dog. Cats for stew. All right, so cat wants a co-pilot. It's a cat. Make sure they don't jump all over the uh, controls. The so co-pilot cat. The stew. Then a dog for Garwin. So if you haven't, I think most on would have, but if you haven't, jump on to Garwin has a uh, YouTube channel. So go check out the channel. He has Doggo on there, but he's also got Flight Sim. So go check him out. Pop up his uh, link in the chat in a second. So I'm going to go over and grab it so I haven't got it as a bot. A beautiful area at the moment that we're flying, absolutely stunning. There you go, go check out uh, Garwin's uh, channel. We were going to fly out to uh, Glen Sander, Echo Golf, Yankee, Sierra, but uh, it's getting a long stream for me. So we're going to be landing very soon at Barra, uh, Echo Golf, Papa Romeo, and we'll fly that next leg, or next, not next leg, neck, next flight plan. I'll add that to my part two flight plan of Scotland, which will fly from then Barra all the way up uh, down to Glen Sander and then we're going to fly straight through the middle over some locks to Loch Ness and 
and we'll probably then go south. No, it does. The flight plan then goes south in the middle of Scotland and then back out to the coast. Sort of weaves around. Trying to cover as much in some sites. Or well, the sites that uh, Microsoft has uh, rendered in anyway. Or the models that I've got with some payware. So this is definitely quite a barren island. At least a bit more trees than what we've seen, but not much. I guess this would be all snow covered. Uh, when the weather turns not so great. Even look at how big or long the airport is. Whoa, 13. You know the good thing about I think this sand uh, airport, airfield, Stu, is that it's not really marked. I don't think it's marked because it's just basically the sand area. So, but on here it states that it's only 1,349 feet long. <laughs> so it could be a challenge. Definitely a challenge for yourself. So I'll grab the flight plan up in this show. So pretty much that's where we started, way, 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 way up there. Let's go Gold Papa Whiskey. Uh, and then we were going to fly, as I said, to uh, Glen Sander, which is down here, Echo Golf Yankee Sierra. But we're gonna run out of time, so we're gonna land here, Echo Golf Papa Romeo. Which gets us ready for the hop over again. And uh, that's Barra. So that's where we are. So we're not far from uh, our destination. But it's getting probably super late for Stu and he probably needs to get to bed. Oh, we've got some boats. We've got a boat. Well, that looks like a nice place. Let's, uh Lavenborough? That looks really nice down here. Oh, good, Garwood. Got to support each other. So when do you think, Garwin, the 24-hour uh, share stream will, will be? Do you, have you got an idea? I'm going to try to... And how much interest have you got? I'm guessing the usual gang of uh, flight sim streamers, especially all the Aussie ones, are probably interested. Flying down the coast uh, to is it Calvary Bay or no, we've been there? Oh, Calvary Castle. So that hopefully will be something to view. We'll see. And then straight into the challenging airfield of Barra. Well, I think it's going to be challenging. We'll find out. We'll find out. That'll be cool. Another nice place, that. I'm guessing all these wind turbines aren't all over like this stew. <laughs> a couple of wind turbines are straight in the middle of the city there, or the town. The town of Loch Maddy. Right there. 
could be. I don't think so, though. No, I'm just looking now. It doesn't look like it on Google Maps. There's an aircraft carrier out that way. If we fly straight out there over the water there, there'll be an aircraft carrier. There are lots, there are lots, okay. But it's just that one looked a little bit weird to be right, right, like basically you've got the pier or the jetty out into the water. Then you got those right on the thing. And from what I can see, unless they're new, they could be new, from what I can see from Google Maps, there is none in that location. And you got all this flat area and then you got a jutting out. A couple of jutting out little ma Oh, freezing. That's a s Ten minutes, I think, and we should be there. Maybe 15, 10, 15. Stu's gone out to, uh... Where have you gone there, Stu? Ben Bicula, is it? Echo Golf Papa Lima, you're flying out that way? You don't want the challenge of landing at Barra? You'll be right. Let's have a read of it. Barra Airport is a sandy short runway airport situated in a wide shallow bay of Trag Moor, Trig Moor, at the northern tip of the island of Barra, in the Elder Herbert Scotland. Well, it looks like you'd have to come, the wind's not going to be in our favour. There's a mountain, a rocky mountain area on runway 33, which is where we should be coming in. Wrong. Let's see. Is runway near? Run, is a runway here? Yeah, there's a, there's a runway at Echo where you are, Echo Golf Papa Lima. But it's not far. Barra's pretty much, if I show you on the map, it's just, it's not far at all. So you're over here, and Barra is just here. So we're pretty close. If you're there. Barra's over here. And that'll be right, there's clouds right over it, looks like. Get a bit of speed if we can end without overheating. Hey Dees, how you going? We've joined just before we, uh, probably 10 minutes before we land. We'll be landing very soon. 10.15. And finishing the flight on a challenging strip, which will be fun. But I hope you're doing well, mate. Stu took the safe option.
Hope you've had a great weekend as well, Dees. We're in Scotland. Uh, I'm just... Uh, started off north, right up the top at Uns Echo Golf Papa Whiskey and now did a whole, a, a lot of island hopping to get where we get at the moment. And we're actually going to finish off on the island of Barra, which we can now see in the distance. Which is basically this beach is where we're going to be landing. I hope. I hope it's not. I hope uh, it's there where it should be. It's going to be a very difficult landing for me. It's very short. Shoes back. All right, so now we have another castle, but I don't know if it's in here. Is the castle here? That's the question. It is on that island. I don't think so. Looks pretty barren to me. There is no no castle being rendered in on there. That was Calvay Castle. Or is it a bit ahead? No, I might have preempted it a bit too much. It might be on that island up ahead. Bay area looks cool. Lock, Lock Boysdale. Good. Looks pretty cool place. see if this uh, castle's over here, but this looks a nice place. No. Nah. There's the, you can see it, but it's not rendered in. But what's cool, I love this. That looks nice. Beautiful, beautiful town. Got a couple of, what are these, fishing nets? Fishing nets, cool. That's cool. Well, we better get ready because we're uh, close to our destination here. Uh, let me fix that camera up. Nah, that's okay. No problems, DJ. We're nearly finished anyway. We're about to land. Uh, we're not far off anyway finishing. So I'm just going to... All right, we're all good there. And I need to get the camera reset. See what uh, live weather is here, huh? Hey, we don't want to land in live weather. Oof. Oh no, we're okay. We can do this. We can do this in land. Hey. There's water in there. How am I meant to land? No, it's not over there. See, see where that sand is over there? That's where we're landing. So that sandy area 
This is exactly where we're landing. Beautiful. Weather, now we're on live weather. Just nice. This looks beautiful. How about this? So that sand bank is the airport or the airfield. I'm going to park for the day. So it's going to be a challenge. So what my idea here is that I don't think the it might be marked. If it's not marked, we'll just land. The wind is, it's going to be a bit of a cross. But we do need to probably land up that way, okay, which is going to be, give us the least, it's probably safer to go that way. What we'll, what we'll do is we'll land, oh, there's birds, we'll land straight up that, but we're going to follow that little inlet, and we're going to come up that way and land, and that's a bit uphill as well, so it might help slow us down. Here we go. This will be fun. Actually, where I pointed out is sort of where it's marked the runway anyway. So that's looking good. Low and slow, super slow. Stu's already down. Nice one, Stu. Alright, let's uh, turn in for it. What an approach. What a place to land. Yeah, no, I've got my I've got my landing. Got my landing gear down? Or not? No, I don't. Now it is. Oh! Really forgot the old landing gear. You've been here before? Well, first time for me, Stu. Cool. Nice. There we have it. We'll park right up here. That's a road, that's a road. There we go. Done. Shut her down. I can break on. Break off. Okay, 
There's Stu. What a flight. Thank you very much, Stu. Uh, that was un that was a really nice flight. Uh, we're just going to uh, pop it down. We shouldn't actually put all that up. We should have actually done the doors first. Got everyone's luggage out. But thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Gammy, how about doing a landing in Nepal? Uh, the different land. Oh, yeah. The, uh, there's some nice, there's some challenging ones there. That would be really, really cool. Uh, but uh, let's get into this mode and uh, say a thank you to Shu Top End Medical Retrieval Care Flight. Uh, but what a what a place to land! What a place to fly! Thank you very much. Thank you, Shu Legendary again uh, to join me on the flight. Thank you, Garwin, who joined me in the flight as well. Uh, and uh, thank you again to Skyrim. It was a Sky or Skyrim, wasn't it? Sky. I'll just double check the name. Skyrim Gamer Zeke, who has become a bronze a wombat member. So thank you very much. And make sure you check out Garwin, uh, Garwin's channel as well. Uh, he, I've just put it up the top there. Uh, a Garwin Grimmer on YouTube. Uh, oh, DJ. I can actually shout out DJ. He's a gold member as well. DJ Star has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, and uh, go check out DJ Star as well. Uh, but thanks, everyone. And off we go. Been a long flight, this one. I'll see you all on the, the other side. See you later. Later DJ, later Stu, later Brett Pound. Thanks you very much. And later Garland.